Happy ito lai Monday afternoon senior high school students who are availing the free online tutorial hatid ng DepEd EdTech Unit. Again, I'm Tutor Ann from SDO Las Piñas. Good afternoon everyone. I am Tutor Abe from SDO Paranaque. And again, we are welcoming you for our uh, third week for the second quarter tutorial in general chemistry one. And we are still hoping na ganun pa rin makatulungan namin kayo or makatulong kami sa pagsagot sa inyong mga modules. Not only in this subject, we still uh, we are still offering other subjects. You can visit the DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd Tayo, and uh, sa YouTube channel ng DepEd Philippines, DepEd EdTech Unit, and DepEd TV para ma-search ninyo yung mga subjects na kailangan ninyo for the specific module. And students, kindly share the link with the hashtag Itulay Level Up, hashtag Itulay Ang Bayanihan para mas marami pa tayong makasama at matuto sa ating online tutorial. So, tutor Ann, again, dahil Itulay Level Up na, yes, syempre may makakas... May mga kasama tayo ulit na guest tutor for today from the Pakulaw National High School, Senior High School from SDO Aurora. We have tutor Maria Erlinda Mata. Good afternoon, tutor Ella. Good afternoon, Hello, tutor good Ella. Good afternoon, tutor Ann and tutor Abe. Okay. Good afternoon to all senior high school students who are watching with us today. Uh, it is such a blessing to be a part of this online tutorial na hatid ng, of course, na ating Department of Education. So, thank you, the Ed uh, EdTech Unit, for giving me this opportunity. Okay. Tutor Ella, thank you for saying yes to us para sa mga kabataang Pilipino na nag-strive hard to finish their studies despite this new normal. So, Tutor Abey, like what we always do, Tutor Abey, Yes, diretso na tayo, no? Kasi medyo ma matrabaho ang ating tutorial oh, for today. Medyo mahabang ating ilan oh. lesson. Yes, tutorial. So, so, let's start with this one. So, although we are still expecting our students to answer this question, sanay na sanay na sila sa atin, how do you try to improve yourself when it comes to your relationship? Sabi nga natin, di ba, kapag relationship medyo ma-broad yung uh, pagkakaintindi natin dyan. So, let us try to be specific with that, no? Students, when we talk about relationship, hindi lang siya yung pakikipagrelasyon sa opposite hindi sex. Hindi love relationship or... lang, yes. <laughs> Kailangan natin linawin yan, Chotra Abe. Baka iba ang maging dating sa ating mga students. Oh, oh, baka, yes. baka iba ang bababasa nating comments dito. Pero anyway, kapag sinabi naman natin relationship, uh, pwedeng relationship sa parents, sa friends, relationship sa mga katrabaho natin, Chotra Ella, Chotra Ann, and obviously, relationship to God. So habang inaantay yes. natin sila, to give their answers, probably I will be asking first Tutor Ella. Tutor Ella, do you like something to share? Yes, yeah, so during this time of pandemic, isa naman talaga sa pinaka-importanting relationship na maaari nating ma-improve ay yung, of course, yung relationship natin kay Lord. Kasi sa kanya naman manggagaling yung wisdom na kung paano tayo makitungo sa lahat ng um, um, nasa paligid natin. At saka kapag yan na po ang nating uh, inuna, talagang everything will go to mas maayos na plano. Yes, yes. Okay. So, uh, so students, Rabe, kayo, may mga nagsagot ba sa comment section? May mga nagsagot ba sa ating mga estudyante? So far, greetings pa lang yung nababasa ko dito. Medyo marami ang nanonood sa atin today. They keep on uh, greeting us, Tutor Ann. And I'm seeing same students, yung mga kilala na natin, ang mga students natin. May Regular mga bago. Students natin. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Meron dito, watching from Camarines Sur, Alan Mark De Jesus. Okay, good afternoon. We have Camarines. James Dizon, Mac Joven, all over the Philippines. Diba? Celine Buot, Sherwin Tagohoy. So, sige lang, kung meron kayong answers dito sa simple question namin, you can uh, have it in our comment. So, para sa akin, Tutor, uh, ito yung lagi kong sinasabi sa sarili ko, no? yung golden rule, do not do unto others what you do not want others do unto you. So, di ba, pag uh, sinasabi natin, kung alam mo sa sarili mo na makakasakit ka or masasaktan ka sa gagawin mo, dapat uh, mag-isip ka ng sampung beses or isang daang beses bago mo siya gawin. So, para lang tayo magkaroon ng harmonious relationship with one another. Yun lang naman yun, eh, di ba? Kung if you really want to have a positive uh Ang positibo na araw, kailangan natin isipin na uh, do something good sa ating mga, sa mga tao sa paligid natin. Even to our students. 
So last week, uh, how to improve our faith at saka yung ating health. So this week, how to improve our relationship, not just the love relationship, but with the, our relationship with the Lord, our relationship with, the, with our loved ones. So kailangan iniisip din natin yan, especially nasa kanya-kanya tayo mga bahay. So dapat hindi natin ito nane-neglect. Okay. Okay. Sister Anne, mayroong sagot si, sa ating uh, comment section. Yes, si Sister Antonio Maypa, faith, hope, and love. Para po may ako doon. Plus, oh, ultimate yeah. patience. And uh, kay Charlotte, thank you, uh, Chuter Tony. Kay Charlotte uh, Rosero, accepting others from who they are po. Okay. Shout out ko lang si Tutor Tony, Antonio Maypa, kasi nga po sa ang mga teachers, maraming work, hindi dapat natin napapabayaan din yung relationship natin with our family. So kapag meron tayong ginagawa at sa ngayon nga kami, mga medyo uh, mga nagpapasa kami kay Tutor Tony, so dapat uh, na respect din natin yung relationship for the family. So salamat Tutor Tony sa pagtsatsaga. Sa, uh, si Tutor Tony po ay ating program head sa senior high school. Marami pong okay. salamat Tutor okay. Tony. Okay, let us Ay, proceed, Tutor Abe. Siguro last na lang to, Tutor Anne, kasi medyo mahaba yung sagot ni Cindy Buot. I improve my relationship with other uh, people by talking to them, also by reaching them out if they have problems. And by that, I will ask if they, if what is the thing that I can do to help them. Napaka-helpful Ayun. naman ni Cindy. Ibig sabihin so, nun, thank kumusta? You, Cindy. It is important to say kumusta. Okay. So... So let us proceed. Po. Mm-hmm. For, so mamaya, balik na natin sila. Ay, chuter to. Ay, chuter to. Chuter, okay. Kasi medyo marami pa tayong i-discuss. So for our objectives, uh, chuter, okay. Okay. So the things, uh, actually we have a, a general topic for today, which is all about uh, describe the geometry of simple compounds. And then under that, we have to identify the molecular geometry of the given compounds, determine the formula type of the compound given its molecular geometry, and determine the number of bonding pairs and lone pairs through formula type. So, mamaya maiintindihan yan with the help of Tutor L and obviously Tutor Ann, iisa-isahin namin sa inyo yung mga examples together with the molecular ge- geometry that we are referring to. Okay, pero napapansin nyo may nakalagay dito enter your search term. Hindi ko na siya ma-remove. I do not know kung bakit. At eh, baka ma-exit pa ako sa presentation. So, kindly disregard na lang this part. Bakit siya may ganyan? So, may technical problem na konti lang naman. So, for this more uh, this afternoon, so let us start with our our discussion with this chemical compound. So, this uh, illustration that you see is a chemical uh, Lewis electron dot structure of ammonia. Ammonia is a chem- uh, chemically known as NH3 is a colorless gas with a distinct odor. It is composed of nitrogen and hydrogen atoms. My first question is, what is the central atom of this compound? Okay, I want to uh, ask that to our learners who, re- who continuously or who regularly attends our tutorial. Kasi this, this was our lesson last week on the Lewis electron that structure. Again, my question is, what is the central atom of this compound? It's very obvious in the illustration. Uh, Tutor Abe, kindly read the comment po. Okay. In the comment so section. So we have here... Like the, the comment. Angelica Gregor- Gregorio, according to her, it's nitrogen. Okay, Central Angelica. Central atom of this component is hydrogen, according to Constantine. Ken Haikti, nitrogen. James Dizon, capital letter N, so nitrogen then. Max Joven, nitrogen. James Dizon, nitrogen. Binoon niya na. Charlotte, oh. nitrogen. Allen, Mark, nitrogen then. Okay. Um, matutuwa na ay magtatampo si Tutor Abe kapag hindi niyo nasagot yan ng dama. Uh, what is the central atom of this compound? The central atom is yes, you're correct, nitrogen. My next question would be, how many bonding pairs are there in the Lewis electron dot structure of ammonia? Again, how many bonding pairs are there in the Lewis electron dot structure of ammonia? It's very obvious in the in this structure. So kindly uh, type in your answer in the comment section so Tutor Abe can read it. Okay. So, Again, nandun pa rin sila sa nitrogen? Yes, Chutor Ann. Uh, how many bonding pairs are there? So, I'm just asking that for the number. You may just type in the number in the comment section. Ayan. So, we have Phoenix Kishan. Three according to him. Mac Joven, three. Sikat Rajan. Uh, Emil, three po. Sherwin Dagohe, three. Precious, three po. 
Okay, so that is correct. The number of bonding pairs is uh, illustrated using the line bond. So in here, we have three line bonds. So that is the number of bonding pairs. So let us proceed with this illustration. This is the Lewis electron dot structure of ammonia as per illustrated kanina. So in, 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 in reiterate ko lang for you to remember that that is Lewis electron dot structure. For the formula type, we are going to use the letters A, X, and E. When, uh, where A is the number of central atom, X is a number of bonding pair, and E is the number of lone pair. So pag nakita niyo yung A, X, and E, we are pertaining to the formula type. Again, A for the central atom, X for the bonding pair, and E for the number of lone pair. That is what you call formula type. For the uh, Vesper theory, Vesper theory is very important in showing the shape of the chemical compound, the molecular geometry of the chemical compound, because this is uh, the one that forms the shape because the atoms are repelling with one another. So uh, uh, the, the, uh, the electrons in the atom are repelling there. So valence shell electron pair repulsion. So yun pong ibig sabihin ng Vesper. So what is that Vesper theory? Uh, this is a model used in chemistry to predict the geometry of individual molecules from the number of electron pairs surrounding their central atoms. Okay, what is this molecular geometry? It is a three-dimensional, 3D three structure of chemical compounds. So, minsan kasi dinodrawing natin sa, uh, sa papel ang structure. Kapag dinodrawing natin yon uh, with the use of line band and dots, so that is Lewis electron dot structure. But if we are going to use... Uh, kit, we can use styro, we can use a molecular geometry kit. Uh, that is, that shows the three-dimensional structure. And that is what you call the molecular geometry. Okay. There are uh, 12 molecular geometry that we're going to discuss this afternoon. And that is with the help of our guest tutor, Tutor Ella, again from SDO Aurora, from the Pakulao National High School. Hello, Tutor Ella. Uh, you may start now for the discussion for the molecular geometry. Okay, so we'll be discussing the first molecular geometry. Um, ang una is the what we call linear. Okay. Yan. So linear, it has a formula type of AX2. Okay, so AX2 it means that it has one central atom and attached to the central atom are two bonding pairs and we have no lone pair in the central atom. Okay, so an example of a compound that has a molecular geometry of linear is beryllium chloride. So ayan, dit, ang nakikita po natin is the Lewis electron dot structure of beryllium chloride. Then Tutor Ann will show to us how does linear looks like in a three-dimensional model? So good thing that there are different platforms uh, which are readily available in order for us to visualize even the microscopic level of chemistry. So Chutor An. Okay, what we're going to use uh, in this afternoon to show the three-dimensional structure of the chemical compound is the application uh, from FET Colorado. So showing the shapes of molecules. So as you can see, you can see a violet ball here and there are, uh, there are options here where we can put single band, double band, triple band. And we have option here for lone pair. And we can show the band angle here when you click it and also the name of the molecular geometry, which I will click later. So to verify if what we are telling you is correct. So sabi ni Tutor Ella, linear has two bonding pairs. So I, I'm going to add two bonding pairs here. So this is how linear looks like. Okay, so this is an example of BECL2. So for me to double check that para ma-confirm ko sa inyo, I will click this and you will see the name linear. Okay, so it means this is how linear looks like. So ayan, pwede ko siyang ma-move kasi nga three-dimensional structure siya. So this is an example of BECL2. But of course, kung ito ay virtual, paano naman po sa mga students na sanay na hindi masyado marunong sa ganitong uh, simulation, pwede po tayong gumamit ng molecular geometry kit that will be presented by Tutor Abey. 
Okay. So, dito sa molecular geometry kit na hawak ko, uh, I'm using this plastic yung material niya, pero dun, uh, before, dun nagtuturo ako ng face-to-face, -face, I'm using styroballs or clay material. Pwede naman kayo maging resourceful, no? For you to choose the material para ma magawa nyo lang siya ng model. For you to figure it out, no? Kasi minsan nga, hindi naman lahat ay accessible yung mga uh, platform natin. Pero dito, makikita rin nyo that this is the representation of linear. So, sana nakikita ng ating mga students. Huwag nyo naman sinin yung koko ko. <laughs> okay. For the linear, ayan. Ganyan lang siya. Isang diretso lang siya. The central atom attached with two uh, Attach atoms or what we call the bonding pairs. Yes? So, so ngayon, Tutor sa Ray, atom. alam mo na kung bakit sa'yo yan nakatas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to Tutor okay, Ella. Tutor Ella. Ella for the next molecular geometry. Nakamute yata si Tutor Ella. Tutor Ella. Again, may problem po kay Tutor Ella sa connection niya. Nakamute po. Ay, okay, sorry. Ayan, so ang okay, next so naman natin na wala pa si Tutor geometry. Ella, so we will, uh, um, I will just show to you this application that when you click this, show band angles, you will see that in linear, there is 180 degree. So dahil diretso nga siya, 360 degrees sa isang circumference. So dahil nga ito ay, there are two bonding pairs. So you can see the angle or band, uh, the band angle that we have for linear. So again, so these are the options for uh, single band, double band, triple band, and this uh, our option for the lone pair. So in this case, wala pa siyang lone pair. So we will not put a lone pair here. Uh, Chuter Abe, nandiyan po ba si Chuter Ella? Yes, nandiyan na si Chuter Ella. Okay, Tutor Ella, let us proceed po to our next molecular geometry. Yes, Tutor Ella. Yes, so for our next molecular geometry, we have trigonal planar. So, ang trigonal planar naman, meron siyang formula type na AX3. Ayan, AX3. So, it means that three bonding pairs are attached to the central atom. And, Uh, wala pa rin tayong lone pair diyan. An example of a compound uh, that has a molecular geometry of trigonal planar is boron trifluoride. Okay, boron trifluoride. And so again, Tutor An will show to us the three-dimensional structure of trigonal planar. Okay, for boron trifluoride, sabi dyan, there are three bonding pairs. So, I will just add a bonding pair here to make it three. So, the formula type of this now is AX3. So, syempre, kahit in a full circumference, may 360, we will just divide it into three. So, the angle would be 120 degree. Okay, so, uh, the name of the molecular geometry is tri uh, trigonal planar. So, you can see there the band angle. Tutor Abe will present to you how does it look like for using the molecular geometry kit. Okay. So actually kanina, nung naglinear tayo, nakita ninyo straight lang siya, 180 degrees lang siya. Pero lagi niyong tatandaan yung sinabi ni Tutor Ann kanina, yung VSEPR theory yes. kung saan, kung maglalagay pa tayo ng isang uh, attach atom dito, magkakaroon ng repulsion sa kanilang tatlo. Kaya instead of having a line here, medyo bababa, magbebent ng konti yung dalawang attach atoms kasi nga may dinagdag tayong isa so nagrepel kaya lumalayo sila sa isa't isa so this would be the uh, the structure of our trigonal planar okay that is because uh, the shape is because of the vesper theory mm -hmm. okay let us proceed po with our third this structure since we have 12 so mag 3 over 12 na tayo chutra ella Ayan. So, siguro mas naiintindihan na, ng mabuti ng ating mga estudyante dahil marami na tayong examples at marami na rin tayong ginagamit na platform. So, ang pangatlo naman is BENT. So, BENT has a formula type of AX2E1. Ayan. So, dito naman, there are two bonding pairs attached to, to the central atom and we have one lone pair in the central atom. Ayan. So, example is germanium fluoride. Okay, Chutor okay. So, The example is germanium fluoride which has two bonding pairs and a lone pair. In our previous structure, we have three bonding pairs. So I will just remove one bonding pair and replace it by a lone pair. So, um, tulad sa kaninang angle, so uh, that is 120, pinalitan lang yung bonding pair ng lone pair. So as you can see, the name of the structure is 
bent. So nakikita rin naman yung number of lone pairs and uh, then band angle. Shooter Abe, kindly present to our learners the molecular geometry kit that we are okay. using. Okay, thank you, Tutor Anne. So, from trigonal planar, doon manggagaling yung tinatawag natin na bent. Kasi yung bent, yung tinatawag kasi tayo, Tutor Anne, na mothership and daughtership. Hindi ko alam kung ginagamit nyo pa siya. Pero uh, yung uh, trigonal uh, planar na tinatawag natin, tatanggalan lang natin siya ng isang attached atom. Then, papaltan lang natin siya ng representation ng lone pair. Ayan. So, same thing na nandun sa uh, 3D ninyo kapag ginawa natin siya ng ganitong representation or model with the use of your material, your own material. Pwede naman. Okay, bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating pang-apat na, na structure, pa-thumbs up naman sa ating mga students who are uh, watching right now okay. uh, and uh, nakaka-follow ng ating discussion. Nasa pang-tatlo na po tayo, uh, going for na po tayo ng structure. Okay. So, si Chutra Bay, you may read kung may mga nag-thumbs okay. up. Chutra, and shout out ko lang yung isa sa ating mga silent viewer from Camarines Norte. Marquisian Phoenix Wayan ng Jose Panganiban National High School. So thank you for watching to us. And eto sila, nagta-thumbs up na sila si Constantine Del Rosario, Angelica Gregorio, Sanchea Shatan, Iverson Kilatan, uh, Andre sorry, Andrea Ablaza Manalo, Ken Joshua Haiti, <laughs> Princess Elijah, ang ating mga suki nandito, no? hindi nila tayo iniiwanan. Miguel Calvo Tanyola, Diane Joy Cobello, Alan Mark De Jesus, Simon Matthew, Pat Du, and ang bilis nila. Justin Gabriel, Miguel Calvo Tanyola, the fourth. Ayan, si Mac Joven. Ayan, okay, shout out po sa mga students ko sa Las Piñas National High School, Senior High School. And sa students mo, Chutra Bay. <laughs> From Paranaque National High School, means Senior High School students, STEM students, ha? At sa studyante niya, Chutra Ella. <laughs> And so, hello sa grade 12 Bio and grade 11 Aguilar. Okay, so ta, yung stop naman tayo siya shout out. Proceed oh, tayo oh, sa fourth <laughs> structure. Mamaya oh, ulit. Okay, ready natin mga may birthday naman. So, for our fourth structure, Chuter Ella. Ayan, so for our fourth structure, we have tetrahedral. Ang tetra tetrahedral naman ay mayroong formula type na AX4. So there are four bonding pairs attached to the central atom and wala tayong lone pair. An example of that is carbon carbon tetrachloride. Chitaran. Okay. Dahil si carbon tetrachloride, si carbon ay may apat na electrons. So kapag nakipag-ban na yun, it satisfies na the octet rule. And that is related to our topic on Lewis electron that structure. For carbon tetrachloride, para mapakita natin ang structure niya, sabi there are four bonding pairs. So I will be removing the lone pair here and I will add another bonding pair. So this is how tetrahedral looks like. Okay, so this is how uh, tetrahedral looks like. It has 109.5 band angle. So, Chuter Abe, kindly mm -hmm. present to our learners the molecular okay. geometry kit that we have. So, for for our tetrahedral naman, ito rin, yung central atom, then banded with four attached atoms. So, kung makikita rin nyo talagang uh, they are repelling with one another, hindi tayo mag, mag, magkakaroon ng structure na talagang uh, dikit-dikit sila. Oo. Kasi nga, they are repelling. Lagi nyo tatandaan yung uh, theory na yon kasi it will help you to uh, identify the proper structure for each compound. So this would be the appearance of our tetrahedral. Okay. For our fifth, we have... Ayan. So for our fifth, uh, molecular geometry, we have trigonal pyramidal. Ang trigonal pyramidal naman has a formula type of AX3 E1. And so, there are three bonding pairs attached to the central atom and we have one lone pair in the central atom. An example of compound which has a molecular geometry of trigonal pyramidal is the phosphorus trihydride. Ayan. So, meron common, uh, it has an IUPAC name of phosphine, pero uh, it is also read as phosphorus trihydride. Yes, Chutter. Um, 
Um, dito sa part na to, akala ng mga students ang name nito ay T-shape because it looks like letter T. But later, you will see the difference of this uh, structure, molecular geometry, sa T-shape. But for now, sabi ni Tutor Ella, trigonal pyramidal has three bonding pairs and a lone pair. So nang galing yang kay tetrahedral, we will just remove this bonding pair and replace it by a lone pair. So this is how a trigonal pyramidal looks like and tutor Abay will show to us the kit. Okay. So ito ang gumagamit tayo ng iba't ibang platforms para maraming pagpipilian ng mga students natin on how can we represent the chemical compounds. Mm -hmm. Kasi medyo mahirap no kapag dinrobing lang natin siya sa plain paper so kailangan talaga meron tayong structure. So from uh, what we call tetrahedral kanina, tatanggalin lang natin yung isang attached atom then higpit siya. Papalitan natin siya ng lone pair. <laughs> so, ganun pa rin, no? The lone pair will still uh, hold uh, the, the, the best uh, per theory. Kahit na lone pair na lang yan, ganun pa rin yung structure sa baba kasi they are still repelling with one another. Ayun pala. Pwede naman pala dito sa camera. Ayun. So? Okay, next po is, the next structure is V-shape. So, kanina, pahalos katulad to ng yes, bend. But you will see the difference. Uh, Tutor, Abay will, uh, Tutor L will discuss the difference of this V-shape to bend. Yan. So, L. actually, ang, may kita natin ang difference nila. Yes, may kita natin ang difference nila sa kanilang um, formula type. So, the formula type for V-shape is AX2E2. So, dito naman, 2 Bunting pairs are attached to the central atom and the central atom has two lone pairs. Okay, so an example of the compound that has a molecular geometry of this shape is dihydrogen monoxide or commonly known as water. Yeah. So, Chutor An. Okay, so so water, so water, we have two bonding pairs. So, tatanggalin ko na muna ito, yung lone pairs na ito. So, let's uh, have two bonding pairs and there are two lone pairs. So, two lone pairs. So, this is how water looks like. Again, this is how water looks like. Ang difference nito sa bent kanina, yung isang bent, uh, yung bent, lone, isang lone pair lang. But si V-shape ay may dalawang lone pairs. Kasi yung central atom niya ay may anim na electrons na kipag-band yung dalawa may natira pang dalawang lone pairs. So again, this is how uh, V-shape look like. Ma'am, bakit po dito sa uh, part na ito bent pa rin? You will see kasi in other books na ang tawag sa kanila ay angular or bent. Pero may dalawang klase nga ng bent. We have the V-shape at yung bent nga na isa lang ang lone pair. So that is the difference, the number of lone pair. Tutor mm -hmm. Okay. Tutor okay. Anne, siguro remind natin yung mga students natin na yung lesson natin last week is still connected dito. No? Baka mamaya nagtataka kayo paano na, na, na perform yung mga structure. We have to draw first the LEDs, no? the Lewis electron that structure of the compound bago tayo makaform ng ating mga, mga three-dimensional structure natin. So dito, galing pa rin naman siya sa tetrahedral ko kanina na may isang lone pair tayong nilagay, kaya trigonal pyramidal. Pero sa structure natin yun, dalawang lone pair na. So tatanggalan lang natin ng isang attached atom. Then papaltan lang natin ng lone pair. Ayan. So this will uh, look like this. Actually, ito yung tinatawag na Mickey Mouse model. Tutor, ano, tatandaan yes, mo pa ba yun? Yes, yes. So, uh, uh, was... Ang narinig yun kay uh, Ma'am Zendi Maestrado. Shout out, Ma'am Zendi Maestrado. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the structure for that. Two lone pairs, two uh, attached atoms, or two bonding pairs. Okay. Tutor Ella? For the next, uh, for the next structure, yes. Tutor Ella will discuss with us uh, the next structure. Okay, so the next structure is the what we call trigonal bipyramidal. So it has a formula or formula type of AX5. So wala siyang lone pair and there are five um, bonding pairs attached to one central atom. So an example of that of this compound is the phosphorus pentachloride. 
Okay, phosphorus pentachloride. Yes. <laughs> okay, the structure is phosphorus yeah. pentachloride, which has five bonding pairs. So, dito po, sabi, we have five bonding pairs. So, I will just remove the lone pairs and I will add three more of its bonding pairs. So, three bonding pairs. So, this is how trigonal bipyramidal looks like. It has a formula type of AX. Five. So, ang angle niya is 90. So, makikita nyo, tama ang ating discussion kasi dito may nagko-confirm, trigonal bipyramidal. Okay, Chuter Abay, kindly present. Okay, so five attached atoms, eto. So, central atom with five attached atoms dyan. One, two, three, four, and five. So, uh, still ha, lagi kong inuulit sa inyo na make sure na they are far with one another to represent the... Uh, repulsion of our attached atoms. So this uh, actually the appearance of our structure. Madali to tutor and kasi meron ng mga allotted ano na hole or butas dito na i-attach na lang yung mga stick. Pero medyo challenging to kapag clay yung ginamit nila tsaka uh, styrofoam. Diyan kasi kita na kagad yung angle. Pag na-shoot mo na siya, kita na kagad. Hindi oh. mapapakita na kagad yung tamang angle. Kapag clay, Ayun, sila dapat ang sila. mga, itatama nila dapat yung angle. Gagamit ka pa dapat ng ruler, joke lang. <laughs> Pero matatalina naman itong mga to, kaya-kaya nila yan. Oo, pro, mag-protractor pa sila. Mahira. Dapat tama yung angle niya, 90 degrees. Charat. Okay, let us okay. proceed with the next structure, anak ng trigonal bipyramidal. Oo. Oh, oh. Ayan. So, di ba, naliliwanagan na yung mga studyante natin. Kung drawing lang, mas madali nilang makita kapag ka naka three-dimensional na. So, the next one is CISO. It has a formula type of AX4E1. Ayan. So, there are four bonding pairs attached to the central atom and the central atom has one lone pair. So, an example of a compound that has a CISO molecular geometry is the sulfur tetrafluoride. Okay, so nasa na, tuturan yung ating sulfur tetrafluoride. Kindly show to them the molecular or the three-dimensional structure of CISO. Okay, parang tuturan. Ayan. Okay, Medyo na wala ang aking connection. Oh, Teka lang. Okay, kinakabahan ako. Medyo wala yung connection ko. So nakikita niya na po ba? Uh, okay, Anne, the formula we'll type of uh -oh. <laughs> ah, lang. Eh, nakabalik na ako. Kita niyo na po ang aking presentation? Okay. Yes, Shooter Ann. Yes, yes, Shooter Ann. So, ayan. Ipapakita mo na sa kanila ano nga ba ang itsura ng CISO okay, using the um, three-dimensional structure. Ayan. So, kung titingnan natin ang CISO ay ayan. So, ayan. Nakikita nyo na po ba? Yes, Tutor Ann. Yes, Tutor Ann. Yes. AX for E1. So, we have four bonding pairs. So, I will just remove one. See, so. So, ayan. Ayan na siya. So, ayan. You can... You can see the C support na. So again, the formula type is AX4E1. It has one lone pair and four bonding pairs. Chutara Bay? Okay. So with that, so galing siya sa trigonal bipyramidal, no? Tatanggalin ko lang itong nasa taas. Papaltan ko lang siya ng lone pair. So yung C so na pangalan niya, inspired doon sa mga C so na nakikita ninyo sa playground. So ganito kasi yung itsura niya. Sana nabibigyan ko ng justice to. <laughs> so, uh, the, 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 the appearance of this one is actually looks like a CISO. So, kung familiar kayo sa CISO, so parang ganyan lang siya. Yes. Okay. Nakita, nakita naman yeah. nila, I guess, ng malinaw. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> yes, Chutorada. Parang may product demo ka lang, no? <laughs> so, bakit Ayan. Ayan. <laughs> next. Next compound. Ayan, so ang ating next na molecular geometry is the what you call T-shape. Ayan, T-shape. T-shape has a formula type of AX3E2. So there are three bonding pairs attached to the central atom and the central atom has two lone pairs. So an example of this is chlorine trifluoride. Ayan, so Chuter Ann, kindly show to them. 
yung 3D model ng okay. T-shape? So, sa T-shape, uh, kanina trigonal pyramidal, AX3 din yun, pero magkaiba ng lone pair. So, dito naman, sa T-shape, uh, we will remove one bonding pair here and replace it by a lone pair. So, it will look like letter T, but it has two lone pairs. Yung kanina, pag dinrowing nyo, para lang siyang letter T, but it has one lone pair. But this one, uh, yung itsura niya, three-dimensional, it looks like letter T, and again, with two lone pairs. So, tutor abe, can they present okay. for the T-shaped? Oh, oh. Okay, nanap ko lang isang lone pair kasi papaltan ko. Kung makikita ninyo ito, papaltan ko lang yung isang uh, attach atom ulit. Tatanggalin, tatanggalan ko lang siya ng isa. Then, papaltan ko lang ng lone pair. So, obviously, kaya siya tinawag na T-shaped kasi makakaform tayo ng letter T out of this structure. So from this, from 5, nabawasan siya isang attached atom, nilagyan natin ng lone pair, then another lone pair to represent the T-shape coming from trigonal by pyramidal. So dapat talaga ini-emphasize natin, tutor, and baka makonfuse na sila, ba't paulit-ulit yung shape natin? Pero lagi niyong tatandaan, tutis, yung pinanggalingan ng ating uh, structure, saan ba siya galing? So, kung anong klaseng, uh, I mean, anong uh, mother shape siya, so yun pa rin yung susundan natin. Dinatanggalan lang natin ang bonding pair and replaced uh -oh. by a lone pair. Lone so, pair. let us proceed with our last three last structure. Last we have three. the octahedral. Medyo bilisan natin kasi mm -hmm. yung students natin who are watching right now, I am sure they're waiting for a short quiz. So, mamaya po we have five questions and you're going to answer that uh, via the comment section of uh, Facebook Live. And also sa YouTube, ng uh, mga nanonood sa YouTube, you may answer po via YouTube. Okay, for octahedral, Tutor Ella? Yeah, so for octahedral, and so we have the formula type of AX6. So there are six bonding pairs attached to the central atom at wala siyang lone pair. So an example of that is silicon hexafluoride. Yeah, so show to them, take uh, tutor an. Okay, for silicon hexafluoride, so we will just add, uh, remove this lone pairs. Wait. Remove two, these two lone pairs and replace it by three more bonding pairs. So dito, this is how octahedral looks like. Okay, again, this is how octahedral looks like. Uh, it follows 90 degree angle. Chutara Bay, pakitabi nga sa atin, mm -hmm. pakitabi sa illustration. <laughs> ano ang itsura Ayan. ng octahedral? On your okay. Mm -mm. Kung mapapansin niyo, equally distributed no yung ating attached atoms, 6 yan. So, meron dalawa sa taas, tapos apat sa gitna. So, kasi nga uh, we are uh, considering the distance of attached atoms from one another. So, this will be the appearance of our octahedral. Oh, di ba baklang-bakla yung uh, <laughs> oh, pindapit? Imagine nila to. <laughs> okay, pamain lang po kay Tutor Abey. Ay, dun sa shape pala. Sorry. Okay, so okay. for the next molecular geometry, we have uh, square pyramidal. Okay, so si square pyramidal naman, meron siyang formula type na AX5. E1. Ayan. So, dito, five bonding pairs are attached to the central atom and the central atom has um, one lone pair. Example ng compound ay bromine pentafluoride. Ayan. So, tutor on. Okay. Ang bromine pentafluoride, so kung tira, square pyramidal niya, so yung base part niya, ang shape na, na square, and it is in a pyramid. So, paano, na, ang paano magiging itsura niyan? So, I'll remove here and replace a lone pair. So, the, uh, this is how square pyramidal looks like. So, yung base part niya, parang uh, ang shape ay square, and it is in a pyramid. Ito, itong part na ito, may pyramid part. So, let us uh, see, let us look at the... Uh, at the structure, look at the structure that will be presented by Chutter Abey. Chutter, ano wala ba ako kanina? Ba ako wala ako? Um, <laughs> hindi naman. Okay, so from this from this structure, tatanggalan ko lang siya ng nasa ilalim. Actually, pwede naman, no? yung nasa ibabaw, balik na rin yun na lang ganun. Para lang makita ninyo na uh, we will be uh, forming uh, pyramid. 
Yes. Out of the square shape na to, yung nasa gitna. Okay, so kaya siya tinawag na square, square. pyramidal. Pyramidal. Yes. Next. So for our last structure, our 12th structure, we have the square planar. Chuter Ella? Yes, so for the last structure, square planar has a formula type of AX4 E2. Yeah. So the central atom are uh, has four bonding pairs attached to it and the central atom has two lone pairs. So an example of a compound that has a molecular geometry of square planar is xenon tetrafluoride. Ayan. So, tutor an, paano naman yung hitsura ng square planar? Okay, the square planar, an example is xenon uh, tetrafluoride. So, there are four bonding pairs. So, i-remove ba natin yung uh, isang bonding pair dito and replace it by a lone pair. So, this is how square planar looks like. Ayan. So, merong dalawang lone pair at apat na bonding pair. So, ayan, nakikita na natin mga students. Inikot-ikot ko na. Kaya maganda tong platform na to kasi you can play with it and you can see, pwede nyo pa ikot-ikot din. So, dahil nga nasa distance learning tayo, so we have this kind of application na magagamit for us to understand this molecular geometry. At kung tayo naman ay nasa face-to-face, -face, ang gagamitin natin ay yung ginagamit ni Chutra Abay. Okay. okay. So, so, so from this one, so kanina ginawa natin yung uh, square pyramidal, tatanggalan lang natin ang isa pang uh, attached atom, papaltan lang natin ang lone pair. Ayan. Kaya siya tinag na square planar kasi makikita nyo na ng uh, maayos yung uh, square shape ng ating attached atoms. Okay. okay, so that is our 12 uh, molecular geometry. So, ayan ang mga structure. Depende na lang sa chemical compounds na i-drawing. So, magandang i-drawing nyo muna sa Lewis Electron that structure. And uh, after knowing the number of bonding pairs and after knowing the number of lone pairs, we will be able to identify what molecular geometry yung uh, chemical compound na yon. So, for us to assess sa dami ng diniscuss natin uh, na molecular mm -hmm. geometry, Chutra Bay will Will, uh, present to us the questions, um, the multiple choice question. Magkukwis tayo, Chutra Abe, okay. kaya kasi I cannot read the comment po eh. Kayang-kaya mm -hmm. ng mga students natin yan. Sila ah, pero Chutra Abe, I am just promoting that what we use in this platform is the FET simulation on molecular geometry. So, ito po yung link and we can add the link later or you can just type in fet.colorado.edu slash since and then makikita nyo na kagad doon marami pa pong mga simulations na may explain sa atin matutulungan tayo para maintindihan yung mga concepts sa science and also kahit sa math so thank you sa grupo sa organization na to na naput up ito nakasagot talaga siya sa distance learning okay okay so hinga ka muna tutor Ann habang uh, nag-present uh, natin yung quiz. Shoutout muna natin itong mga students natin no, sa nag sila. So we, we have Yumi Basilonia, 11 STEM, S-F-M-N-H-S. <laughs> so good afternoon po from Ivan Salazar, Francesca Daniel, uh, Daniel Gabia, uh, Adrian Ralph Rapon, Menoy Daniel, 11 STEM, uh, Pwede nyo i-expound ano, i yung acronym ng school ninyo para mas mabasa natin, no? O, kasi so, nag invite tayo, Tutor Abe, baka ma-invite mm -hmm. natin sila at mga teachers nila. Don't forget to share uh, this platform kasi dito po, yun po nagiging basis namin if you're supporting and sharing the program. Thank you po. Okay, you're welcome, Phoenix. Okay, let's start na tayo. So, multiple choice to, students. So, kindly type in your answer kung sa palagay ninyo what should be the best answer possible for each item here. So, let's start with what what molecular geometry has a formula type of A AX3? Chitter Ann, may pwede ba natin silang bigyan ng choices? O, di ba na alam mo ito Okay. So, we have letter A, trigonal bipyramidal, B, trigonal pyramidal, trigonal planar, tri uh, and trigonal for letter D. What do you think is AX3 shape? Okay, don't forget to include the number and the name of your school. Okay. So, may sagot na sila. We have trigonal planar. Nakutulong ako pa naman sana kayo. Ipakita ko sa inyo yung structure. So, <laughs> Sige, pakita pa siya <laughs> trigonal pa rin. Okay. So, may sagot naman sila. Trigonal planar, E.J. Romero, Constantine, uh, 
Fritz Casa, si po, Donna Aseo, si, sorry yung iba na nalalagpasan ko ha, Hans Palile, Palileo, si po, Constantine, si Trigonal Planer Letter, si Ken Joshua Haitin, Precious Abulo, si po, Hans, okay, sa so, tutor Anne, I think. The answer Ito, is, talaga sila. yes, they are correct. Letter C for trigonal planar. Next, number two. Students, lagyan nyo ng number two ha para alam namin na yun na yung answers niyo. Okay. For the second question. For the second question, natulala na naman ako. For the <laughs> second question, which of the following? <laughs> Ikaw na nga, tutor. <laughs> which of the following best describes the molecular geometry of water? Choices natin, tutor and Naku, nakalas ko na ang aking structure. Letter A, belt, B, linear, C, V, shape, D, trigonal, pyramidal. So, water ha. Meron akong tinawag doon na special uh, name para mas ma-figure out niya siya having two loads. Gagayan load. ko lang yung... Oh, ang galing! Perfect! <laughs> Katabi ko po siya ngayon. Ang... <laughs> Copy ka. Don't forget to uh, type in the name of your school. Okay. So may sagot na sila, Tutor Ann. 2 po A, Simon Matthew Patdu, Gianna May A, James Dizon B, Aaron A, uh, Alan Mark C, Phoenix B, Justin Gabriel A, Bent po, Sherwin Tagohoy. Tutor Ann. So medyo naghati, nahati yung oh, answer oh. nila dyan. Okay, so let us check. Uh, what what is the answer in number two? I'll show it now, Chitra Bay. Yes, Chitra Ann, because okay. most of them got... <laughs> letter C. Letter S, but may letter S da yan, ha? <laughs> but may letter B S, A, B, C, D lang. <laughs> okay, B shape, yun yung sinasabi namin na mo, uh, ano yun, Mickey Mouse Molecule, may dalawang lone pair, pero naka, na ano sila doon, no? sa Ben, saka sa B shape talaga. Feeling ko ano okay. naman siya, understandable. Generally, naman. generally para, rin, para rin siyang bent or angular. But mm -hmm. specifically, water has a V-shape. So, yun nga, tinatawag siyang uh, Mickey Mouse model. Shout out, Zendi Maestrado. Thank you for, <laughs> for, for, uh, for teaching us nung unang turo pa namin ito. Naisip na, okay. na, na blank ako. Okay, Next. for number three. How many bonding pairs are there in a tetrahedral structure? Ayan, alam na alam nila yan. Kahit walang choices. So number three na tayo. Letter A, 4, B, 3, C, 2, D, 1. C, 2. Okay. So, number three. Asa na ang ating mga students? For tetrahedral structure, tetrahedral structure, how many bonding pairs? Uh, Pairs for that. So we have Jana May Cham. So number three, A po. Ken Joshua ha, 18, A, 4. Da, Donna Asejo, uh, A. Andrea, A. Justine, A. Frances Elijah from L, uh, Las Vegas National High School, Senior High School, Maine. Charlotte, A. Macjoven, A. Justine, A. L, Las Vegas National High School, Tutor Ann. <laughs> Most of their answers is letter, all of their answers is letter A. Okay, okay, the answer in number three is letter A. Perfect! Ang galing! Ginagaya-gaya. <laughs> okay, number four. How many lone pairs are there in CISO molecular geometry? Yun, pinakita ko ngayon kanina uh, sa inyo, no? yung CISO na tinatawag natin. Ilan ang lone pair ng ating CISO? A4, B3, C2, D1. Number four na tayo, students. Four. Ayan, nasa number three pa rin sila. So, okay lang. They keep on answering, tutor Ann. Number four, students. How many lone pairs? Lone pairs ang tinatanong mo. Mm -hmm. Or not uh, okay. bonding pairs. So, lone pairs. So, me, I'm sorry. Ayun. Meron na, tutor Ann. Andrea, ayan. Andrea Manlolo, D. Allen Mark Desus, D. Uh, Westlin Faith. Velasco D. Sorry, ang bilis ha. Donna Asejo D. Ken Joshua Teen Charlotte D. Iverson D. Okay. Simon Pass. experience, uh, after I show the answer for number four, pa-experience natin kay Tutor Ella yung number oh, five. Uh, and reading the answer in the comments. comments. <laughs> Thank you, Tutor Ella. <laughs> so we only have one lone pair for CISO. Tutor Ella, are you there? Yes, yes. Yes, Tutor Ella. Okay, Tutor Ella, can you read number five po? Okay, yes. So for number five, 
what is the formula type of a compound with a T-shaped molecular geometry? And so, the following are the choices. Letter A, AX3, B, AX3E1, letter C, AX3E2, and letter D, AX3E3. Yeah. May pag-emphasize so, si Jutter Ella kung nasa oh, nang sagot. Love din ang students. Siya, ito, <laughs> okay, let us wait for the answer. Oh, naramdaman ko yun eh, Jutter Ella and Jutter Epi. Okay, let us wait for the answer in the comment section. Jutter Ella, kindly uh, experience the, I, yung sa pag-read ng, ng answer ng mga students. Let's uh, So okay, may uh, problem yata sa connection or sa ano sa nakikita ba ni Tutor Ella? Ikaw na nga din. Ah, sige. Ella. Bilisan na natin kasi malapit na tayong magmuli. No? So number 5, Sherwin the Gohoy, letter C, please cast sa C, Phoenix Tishan, C, Justin Jundikinya, C, Gianna, Andrea, C, Sanchea, C, Diane, Cindy, okay, Sherwin, Ralph, Pajardo, Madeo, Okay. Kahit napapagod ako magbasa, I'm really so happy kasi nandyan kayo. So, okay lang. Just keep on uh, placing your comments. So, their answer, their answer is letter C, A, X, Let us check if your answer, if the answer in number five is letter C. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. The answer number five is letter C. Perfect. Ang galing. <laughs> okay. Magaling talaga. Feel na, ano ba yan? Panindigan mo yan hanggang next week, ha? <laughs> Teacher ko. Style niya yun. Okay. 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 So, Nakikita mo na ba ito? Tutor Abay? Not yet. Tutor Abay. Oh, Nagahang yata ako. Okay. So for quarter to week four, our lesson would be organic compounds. So uh, now I, uh, we hope to see you next week. So ang lesson natin ay organic compounds. And we will try to look for our guest tutor para po sa uh, topic on organic compounds. So, our team, the team Mahusay, Senior High School Science and Technology for the first semester, ito po ang ating mga uh, ino-offer sa Senior High School Safety and First Aid, Earth and Life Science, General Biology 1, uh, Media and Information Literacy, and of course, this General Chemistry 1. So, for your feedback, Chutar Bay, are you there? Okay. Chutar Ann, okay ba ako? Narinig ako? Yes po, Chutar Bay. Okay. So for your feedback, so still no, Chutar Ann, uh, nag-aantay pa rin kami ng inyong mga comments, suggestions, and concerns about dito sa napapanood ninyo or kung paano nakakatulong yung itulay tutorial sa pagsagot ninyo ng modules or not only that, kung paano siya nakakatulong for the improvement of your self-care. Inaintay namin ng inyong mga comments. Huwag lang complain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wala naman so, siguro. Ah, oh, wala naman. So tayo ay nagtutulungan dito. Tamang oh. usap lamang. So oh. thank you po for uh, availing the free online tutorial natin ng Deped EdTech Unit. Up next, we have Tutor Kath from, and Tutor Zai from SDO Bulacan uh, uh, on Media and Information Literacy and also Tutor Wendy of SDO Cavite Province and Tutor Eric from SDO Caloocan City for General Biology 1. So, nag-start na sila ngayon, I'm sure. So, muli, pero bago muli. tayo magmuli, Tutor mm -hmm. Ella, thank you for saying yes to to partner with us para mag ng kaalaman sa ating mga estudyante. If you have a message po to them and magmuli ka din after you give your message. Hey, meron tayong top fan. Ay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, bago po ako magmuli, ayan, so pa-shout out po sa aming uh, principal ng aming school, di pa Colo National High School, um, kay Ma'am Esperanza G. Velasco. So, belated happy birthday po sa kanya. Ayan po. So, ka yes. so kaisa po ang di pa Colo National High School, SDO Aurora, sa pag-utilize ng mga ganitong klase ng platforms, online tutor free online tutorial, para po sama-sama nating maitawid ang pagkatuto ng mga estudyante sa panahon ng pandemya. Muli, ako si Tutor Ella. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're welcome, students. No? Kasi ang dami nagpapatank you sa atin, Tutor Ann. Hindi ko lang maano. Kapansin na <laughs> Okay, so, uh, muli, I am Tutor Abe from SDO Paranaque. Sama-sama natin itulay ang pagkatuto. 
And I am Tutor Ann from SD Las Piñas. Sa, si Tutor Ella, sama-sama nating itawid kasi guest tutor siya. Oh, oh. Ah, so okay. at sa atin, sama-sama nating itulay ang bayanihan para sa mga batang Pilipino. God bless everyone. Thank you students. God Thank you, Tutor Ella. Bye-bye.